Hello everyone, this is David with Final Touch Auto Detailing. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this on Facebook, whatever the platform, hit the thumbs up or the like button. That really helps us out a lot. Leave us a comment below. That also helps out a whole lot. That way other people can see it. If you will, hit the share button. Anyway, we have gift certificates available year round. A lot of folks do buy them around Thanksgiving and Christmas time. When you got that person you don't know what to give, give them the gift to clean. We're gonna be putting a link on the website that way you can click on that. I haven't had that available before, but that's going to be coming up new. So if you want to give somebody the gift to clean for Christmas, what better way? We'll, we'll throw a link down there below. That way you can go click on that if you want. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. We're going to jump into it. All right, hello everybody. Today I'm working on this uh, Harley Davidson here. It's mostly just dirty, a little bit of dirt and stuff everywhere. Not anything too terrible by any measure. Normal bugs and, and such as that. And you can probably see here, there, there's been some love. And when I say love, you know, when you, when you wash a vehicle. Um, if you're not really, really careful, and cautious you can get these little fine scratches just from from wiping that's why it's really important to be really cautious but there's lots of bugs down there uh, lots of dirt just dust everywhere mainly not like terrible dirt or anything and yeah i don't like to, to rub on it because if you touch it with dirt on there and dry hands, yeah, you can make that a lot worse. One of the other concerns that they had was uh, there's some real light scratches here. I mean, just besides some of the regular scratches there. Um, their dog came to visit and put some scratches in there for us. Nonetheless, one of the things they asked me to do was to, if I could polish that out, that was something that was really concerning. Since I have the polisher out anyway and I'm going to be working on that, we're going to go ahead and run the polisher over this section. That won't take a whole lot of time, but we'll get that looking really good too. That'll make a pretty big impact. Other than that, yeah, it's just, just a lot of dust and dirt here and there. But we're going to get all that cleaned up, be real careful with it. Uh, we'll put a good leather conditioner on the seat. And don't know what really to point out to you other than, than just that bits of dirt, but we'll get it all cleaned up and ready for them. I think they're going to take a trip on it. So, anyway, we won't, we won't talk a whole lot about it anymore. We'll just get to it and uh, you can see what it looks like afterwards. All right, hello everybody. We're all done with this bike, getting it all wrapped up. Hopefully the span is not making a whole lot of noise, but went ahead and polished the tank. Got the scratches that were up here. Got those polished out. Got everything looking all nice and shiny again for them. They wanted to make sure the chrome looked great. Went over the footrest with solution finish make those look nice and black again did a light polish up here as well uh, they didn't necessarily ask for that but I try to go above as much as I can went ahead and lightly polished over this as well Got a really good leather conditioner on there. 
make this seat nice and soft filling again. And it smells really good. But yeah, there's not a whole lot to a motorcycle for the most part, so we'll just show you what we can. Anyway, that's it. That's the motorcycle. So in uh, a minute and a half or so here, that's what we got. Thank you for watching. If you got a motorcycle, you want to bring it to me, give me a holler. Thanks for watching. Good morning, everybody. Today we're working on the Silverado. It's a quad cab or crew cab, whatever you call it. And there's a little bit of dirt in here. No, only a little bit. You probably have to look hard to find it. But... We're going to look really hard. We're going to find that dirt. We're going to get that taken care of. Sorry, sarcasm is just, you know, sometimes it's funny, I guess. Anyway, lots of little dirt here and there. I mean, obviously, this is a work truck. It's what the gentleman uses it for. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of is what it is situation. Uh, we're going to get around to the other side. Uh, just try to show you some of the other dirt. We're only doing interior only on this. So part of this process, we're going to show you where uh, these floor mats, I think I've done it, if I've done one video, I've probably done a hundred and heck, just the amazing turnaround of what Weston floor mats or WeatherTech or there's another, Home Depot has their own brand, uh, Husky floor mats. I can't stress this enough. Go buy you some of those. They're custom fit. I mean, they, they fit around the everywhere on your your car or truck uh the ones for cars you know it's, it's or suvs usually they have a little bit more of a deeper dish i guess you could say because it, it comes up on the side uh when it sits down in the floorboard of a car obviously cars are a little bit different than trucks uh but nonetheless you get what i'm saying all kinds of little fun dirt like there you know in those cup holders there's um dirt amongst chains and uh, essentially everything that's in here we're going to take it all out and then uh, you know anything that's obvious trash we'll throw that away and anything that's uh, something to keep we'll put that somewhere in a safe manner get them a little box for some of the small personal belongings and all that but um, yeah we're going to get this thing cleaned out those weather tech mats are going to look way way different whenever they look brand new um, Especially all this right here. We get all that cleaned up and it's going to be a huge turnaround, but interior only sorry about the fan I know it's making a little bit of noise um, Yeah, let's just get to it All right guys, we're done with the interior on this uh, I think it's a I'm not even gonna say I'm not sure I have to look at the other side over there anyway uh, the interior of the Silverado uh, We'll talk about what year it is when we're done and I get over to the other side. But yes, got everything cleaned up, cleaned out, and back to a really good standard, I believe. Kind of show you the back, the doors. The seats. Uh, the seats on this side. Those WeatherTech mats looking amazing. When we get up here to the front in a moment, you'll be able to see a huge, huge difference. Hope I'm not screaming too loud because I'm trying to talk over the fans. And Yeah. Uh, that's looking a whole lot better. Sometimes those really crazy differences before and after will give you a much better idea of what we're dealing with. Uh, the customer, one of the things they said was, that little area down there was just really dirty and it was bothering them. So want to make sure we get the things that are really bothering you cleaned up first and foremost. And then, you know, we'll kind of prioritize, go down the list. Uh, nonetheless, yes, uh, we got the glass clean on the inside. Everything else is cleaned up great. And I think this is going to be pretty awesome. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you will. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, it's just, you know, give us a follow um yeah thank you so much for watching we definitely appreciate all the likes subscribes shares comments anything got a question don't hesitate to ask that's what i'm here for 
All right, until next time, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you then. All right, everybody, this is a Silverado. Well, it's actually a Sierra because it's GMC, but uh, please forgive me if you feel like I'm yelling. I'm trying to talk loud enough that you can hear me over the fan. It's a little bit hot in my shop today, so I don't want to turn the fan off. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing interior on this truck that's not really bad. I'm going to show you the interior first. And then uh, we'll show you the outside. There's a little bit of dust and dirt and debris kind of here, there, and everywhere. And it's not bad. Uh, there's a lot of dirt on the foot pedals. Is you know, hey, your foot's in the dirt or on the ground where dirt happens to be. Moving along to the outside. Yep, you can kind of see my reflection a little bit. And there's a lot of really fine swirls and scratches in this. So we're going to be doing a gloss enhancement polish on the entirety of the outside. And I'll kind of walk around a little bit and get a direct shot. Um, right there and here where the light is directly reflecting. We'll try to use that as a reference point. But uh, the customer told me that the paint is, it's not as smooth and kind of glassy, uh, for lack of better expression, as it used to be. It's got a lot of light swirls and scratches. So that's what the gloss enhancement will do for you. Uh, where the light is reflecting a little bit differently off the tailgate here, yeah, there's going to be some different kind of look to it. But as we get around, yes, we're going to show you, especially when you look at the light. And it's wanting to focus on my finger, not so much that, which is probably having a little bit of a tough time focusing on. But yes, if you follow the light, you'll see a lot more of those fine swirls and scratches in the paint. We'll try to get around at some different angles here so you can see a little better. And like I said, the gloss enhancement, yes, that's going to make a world of difference. And it's kind of all about how your uh, perception of the, the light reflected. That light is not real clear right here in this B pillar. And as we move up, you're definitely going to get that same kind of haziness because the paint doesn't have a lot of clarity. Moving on to the door, yes, we have the same thing. We got a few uh, bird bombs here as well. Going to take care of that. But yeah, everywhere you see a light here and there and there, um, some major reflections. Yes, you're going to see a lot of that haziness. We're going to be doing an all-in-one polish on this to get that paint cleared back up again. And it's a gloss enhancement. It's not, um, it's not with the intention of going after some really deep scratches. Uh, there is a couple scratches over here on the passenger side. We'll walk back around to that. Or here is one of them. I'm not real sure how great it's picking up on camera right there is another one and as you can see that kind of follows the the line here on the bedside and that's because the previous owner had one of those um, trim pieces that stick on that's actually a chrome kind of look uh, right down here oh yeah that shows up really well it seems like it shows up worse in the video than it is in real life anyway we're missing paint we're gonna be using uh, we're going to be using a generic paint that's kind of a universal black as opposed to a custom color match. We don't know exactly what the, what the color is on this because it's been painted. So we can't use the GM paint code to get that color off of there. Uh, that might be close, it might not, but because it's been repainted, we don't know what paint they actually used. Anyway, we'll be using a less costly paint to touch that up the owner was not real concerned with it being perfect uh, i try to use a custom color match paint every time i'm doing touch up and basically that's just to get a better result if you're interested in touching up some of the paint chips or scratches or whatever that's kind of heavy like that once it's 
scratch like that is on that um, bedside, yeah, there's it, it's missing paint so bad. There's no polishing you can do to that. You're gonna have to put some kind of paint there because we're down to metal again. Anyway, um, let's get to work. We're gonna do some polishing on this paint. It's a one step or all in one, and we're gonna make it look better. We'll probably polish up these. Uh, that's got those little beauty rings around the edge of the wheel there as, as well. I mean, this, this is a great looking truck. And it's going to look even better when we're done. All right, guys, we got this truck wrapped up. We did an all in one polish on it. Uh, I'm already seeing a couple spots I need to go back and wipe over. So um, forgive me on that for just a minute. But I did want to make sure we kind of point everything out. Uh, we did polish this, just a one step. It looks a ton better. I know it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect paint. It's supposed to be a gloss enhancement. But everywhere that there's black plastic, like here, here, uh, tailgate handle, right down here along the edge, door handle here, mirror trim here, all that's been taken care of with solution finish to bring that black plastic looking back like it's new that'll last at least a year even if it stays outside i've got a lot of customers that have uh, jeeps and such that stays indoors and uh, there's a lot of black plastic trim on jeep wranglers if you know a wrangler or two uh, here solution finish here solution finish down here on this bottom that's actually a gray plastic i get down there a little bit better I have a solution finish that is made specifically for gray plastic. So we went along that whole lower piece there with gray solution finish to restore that. I don't think that I got a real good uh, pointing it out whenever I initially did the first walk around video. As far as the inside, there wasn't a lot to do in the inside, but we cleaned it up, put some protectant on it, making it look good for the owner. I uh, feel pretty confident they're going to love it. So I'm pretty sure we're staying in, in their budget as they asked for. Let's go look at the other side. And over here on this side, yes, uh, again, we used 303 Aerospace. It's a little bit glossy right now, but whenever it dries, it'll be much more of a matte finish. Anyway, uh, I, like I said earlier, I see a couple little spots there I need to wipe off uh, on black paint. Yeah, everything seems to, to show up really, really well. Other than that, hey, this truck is ready. It's wrapped up. We're going to call the owner and tell them they can come get it. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're working on this Cadillac ATS. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit of a, a dark white, but uh, clearly evident that there is some uh, quite pretty uh, pearl under there. Uh, today, we're going to be getting all this dirt, you know, kind of all the fun stuff that we normally do. This, uh, this vehicle hadn't had a, a good clean in in a while, so we're going to get all that taken care of. You know, you get in your car and there's dirt in there. You end up having a pant leg get dirty or what have you. Yeah, that's no fun. Kind of go around it, let you see. You know, just, it's normal stuff. We're missing a little bit of paint down there. We do have at least one or two bugs that are visible. You might have to squint a little bit, but you can... You get real close, you can see one or two of those dead bugs. And whatever that stuff there might be. There again, just, just a little bit of dirt everywhere. Got some dirt in the floorboard. Uh, some, some fingerprints or what have you on the center console. More dirt in there. A little bit back here. A little bit of evidence of some dirt back here as well. We're going to get all cleaned up. Pine needles cleaned up, blown out, vacuumed out. Get a good sealant on it. This thing's going to feel a whole lot better when you're in it. You know, you, just that, that level of cleanliness you get, or that feeling you get with a level of cleanliness that's you know a lot better and everybody drives their cars it's what we do and we we collect dirt along the way so without wasting a whole lot of time we're going to get into it and i'll show you what happens when we're done all right everybody so we're wrapping this up uh, down along that door jam there i think you probably remember all that dirt that was in there 
Got all the dust and dirt out of the floorboards. Those little trash pockets, I call them, because that's where trash gets collected. Door frames, door jams. That's actually, you can probably see that, it's real small. It's actually a little scratch there. You know, we're missing paint. So unless we're doing touch-up paint, yeah, there, there could be paint spots we're missing. Inside the filler cap area, got the wheels and tires clean. All that dirt that was hanging out down there on the bottom. And then everything that we had in the back, you know, all that came out or down in that little lip there. We'll show you from that kind of angle. I don't know if I pointed it out before, but yeah, a lot of cars in the trunk area right here, it gets really dirty. We do have a few places where there's some rough spots in the paint. There again, we're not doing any paint touch up on this one. If that is something you want, just let me know. I got the wheels cleaned up over here. There again in the door frames, all that taken care of. Got the glass, you can see through all the glass. And then, uh, I don't know if you remember, there was a bug somewhere on the front. Everywhere. Uh, let's see. Heck, I can't even see it in the monitor. Right about there, we got some paint missing. Of course, you know, got a few miles on it. We got a few dings from rocks and such. Other than that, yeah, we're ready to take this thing back to its owner. And uh, we'll be on to our next car. Good morning, everybody. Today we're working on this... Uh, Equinox, not a bad looking car by any means. A little bit of dirt in the wheels and there's kind of a little bit of stuff everywhere. This this vehicle is not really in terrible shape by any measure, but I'll get you a quick walk around on it, kind of let you see what it looks like before. Make sure that uh, you can see some of the dirt and all. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find dirt. Nevertheless, here's where we're starting from. And yeah, the vehicle's not terrible shape by any measure. Like I said, just a little bit of dirt here and there. Now right, let's hop over to the other side and we'll show you that. I'll stop real quick at the back end. Yeah, like I said, not very much dirt at all, really. There, there's probably more dirt in the door jams and such. Get this person's personal items out. And... We'll let you have a go at it. Just a little dust and dirt here and there. All right, so we're gonna get on this thing and uh, have it wrapped up here shortly. All right, hello everybody. We are done with this Equinox today. It wasn't horrible by any measure. Just kinda of wanna point some things out to you. Basically, like always, kinda of show you what we got going on. And if I've ever said that phrase before, hit that like button, hit the share button. Let everybody else see. All right, today we got this, uh, I think it's a 16 Chevy Equinox. It wasn't horrible before. There was a lot of dust and dirt in the door jams. Got that all cleaned out. Blow all the carpet out. There was a little bit of uh, dust and dirt way down in the carpets and such. Nevertheless, we got all that cleaned out. Uh, along the door frames and door jams and the gas cap. In the back end, got all that taken care of, uh, addressed several of the customers' concerns. Now, they were definitely more concerned with the interior. They said the door panels and such were looking really dull, so I kind of wanted to make sure I took extra care. And took care of that as well. Mm. Right about there, there's some 
it looks like something that's actually missing paint nonetheless we're not doing touch-up paint on this one at least not today here was one of the panels that they were talking about it's like hey it looks really dull anymore so we're going to close the doors up we're not doing any paint correction on it just trying to get all the dust and dirt there was a lot of dirt on the roof because this car does spend a little bit of time outside nevertheless got it all cleaned up got it washed got it sealed I don't know I think we showed you the gas cap earlier if we didn't there it is filler cap area has been cleaned up everything on the inside you can see through all the glass and it is ready to go back to its owner we're gonna give them a call or a text message or something and tell them they can pick it up whenever they're ready otherwise thank you so much for watching if you will hit that like button hit the share button it helps us out a whole lot and as always, thank you for watching.